This week in science, we're talking about landing things on Mars, which is something we've done several times now. There was curiosity. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. Insight. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely. Now that's just NASA, and that's just in the past decade or so. But despite all that success, landing on Mars is still extraordinarily hard and expensive. So the folks at the Jet Propulsion Lab have been testing out a new concept, crashing. Current Mars landing techniques usually come down to the so-called seven minutes of terror, in which all kinds of sophisticated tools are deployed to slow the spacecraft down. For Perseverance, that required a supersonic parachute, heat shield separation, rocket thrusters, a final descent stage called Sky Crane, and it all had to go perfectly without any real-time guidance from mission control. So what if they could just skip all those steps and build something that could survive a crash landing? That's the whole idea behind SHIELD, short for Simplified High Impact Energy Landing Device. At its base is an inverted pyramid of metal rings that can collapse into itself like an accordion, absorbing the impact of a crash. To test this thing, NASA engineers built a nine-story tall sling that could throw SHIELD into the ground at about the same speed as something plummeting to the Martian surface. They then loaded up the device with some sensitive electronics, including a smartphone, and fired up the sling. For some added difficulty points, they made the landing zone a 5 centimeter thick steel plate. That did make the device bounce a bit, but for the most part, it worked. Some plastic bits in the device were damaged, but all the electronics survived. The next step is to build out the rest of the lander and see how far this whole crashing concept can go. With This Week in Science, Curtis Doring, City News.